Hello, Godzilla and Kong, stupid gorilla fans. Today we're reacting, since we react to both, to the two videos, we are now going to react to the to the new Godzilla vs. Kong 2021 trailer, and then the battle face off. But first, we're gonna have to watch something that isn't about who's going to stinking win. Let's watch this one first. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo. It's Jai, stupid. Man, is it Jai? Gia, Jai. Told you, Jai, stupid. It's Gia, Jai, Gia, Jai, Gia. <laughs> Hold up, we may have a new viewer. What's up, Goji fans? I'm coming. Hi, guys. Pause the video. Ah, um, my back. Guys, I'm coming. All right, hurry up. What's your arch? Who's my arch? Us, oh, stupid. Ah, oh, my freaking arm. since Kong has infinitely less surface area to fight on than Godzilla. But what caused Godzilla to withdraw from the battlefield? We'll explore why later. Up next, we see Kong get once again slapped by Godzilla and thrown back to the coast, possibly around here. We know Godzilla has mastered the use of his tail to maximum effect. This weapon was the one responsible for the male Muto's death in 2014, capable of sweeping Ghidorah in 
require an immense amount of strength to move around. And all these yeah, we you forgot. Who do we forget? That is a new movie coming up. What's the movie called? There's three. There's two movies. Three movies coming up. Well, sort of two. Sort of two. Because, um, Godzilla's Kong is coming up, like, this month. In, like, a few days. I don't know how long. We see Eileen Andrews, Nathan Lynn, and Jai approach Kong after he seems defeated. This is now two instances seen so far in these trailers where Godzilla withdraws after beating Kong. For Godzilla, this is actually considered to be odd behavior since his fight to the death. Yeah, there's one movie forgotten. What's the movie called? Um, it's called uh, Godzilla 2025 and Good vs. Bad. Alright, what are you talking about, Good vs. Bad? Um, Good vs. Bad is actually about. Two Gojiras. I mean, like, yeah, all the good creatures and all the bad creatures. Is probably the most interesting part of the trailer. Jai communicating to Kong in sign language. Unlike the popular belief that Jai and Kong develop their own private form of communication, this can actually be picked up by other humans. That's right, this is actual human sign language. There is evidence in the real natural world of apes using their primitive form of sign language to attempt Yeah, to the good versus bad is about like all the bad all the bad species of all creatures and all the good species of all creatures. And they all go against at uh, a twelve at a fifteen hour and in in a in a fifty nine hour movie. Fifteen hours? We gotta watch a fifteen hour movie? I thought you said it was eight. Oh, uh, no, I lied. So when is it, when is it coming out? Like, uh, like in the future? Are you serious? Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The movie's, like, coming out, like, 2055. That's gonna, and it's gonna be 15 freaking hours. Well, Lennon Legendary and all those segments and all that. I don't know. Erupting from an apex base found in one of these places. If this location is in fact in Beijing, this trailer ends God. with even more shots of Kong breaking off his collar, jumping from ship to ship, and finally landing on the carrier. Now, many of you may wonder how is it that a carrier can hold the weight of two titans without sinking? We have a few explanations for this phenomenon. This can be explained by the Archimedes Principle, which simply states that the upward force of water exerted on a floating object is equal to the weight of the fluid this body displaces. Let's start off with the carrier. If the weight of the displaced water below the keel is equal to the vessel's weight, the boat and anything on it will be able to stay afloat. This means that any displaced water underneath the carrier needs to be equal to the weight of the carrier, Godzilla, and Kong. To put this into perspective, imagine a small piece of Tupperware floating with two rocks in it. The individual rocks are heavier than the plastic, but this entire entity stays afloat. This is, however, not taking into account that these two objects are displacing their weight all over the place while fighting, which is not technically possible. So this scene is technically not feasible. Unless, of course, there is some unknown technology that these ships are... That has to be 20... That that's 20 on 14, right? ...of what stress they encounter. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Guys, we may have a new... We may have a new arch nemesis coming soon. What's his name? Dun, dun, dun.